Hey everyone, this is Heather, and this is going to be a quick video on uh, how to use our Tradetix notifications on your mobile and on desktop on the website. So what we've been trying to do over the last couple of months is we, since uh, with COVID sort of starting to get over, more and more people have started to go back to their offices and obviously without uh, that as well, not everyone has time to stay on our website all day or stay on particular tools like Live Options Flow and uh, Trady Flow all day. So what we have been trying to do is create these uh, sort of different systems for notifications that can notify you of any important activity in financial markets on the option side, crypto side and stock side. If that happens, then what we try what we've been trying to do is to sort of notify you whenever that happens and this is a video on how do you actually accomplish that and how do you stay on top of all important financial information related to your trading and th there are a couple of things sort of there are a couple of sort of uh, specifications that we have for our notifications which is why i had to create this video but i hope this will be useful for you so we so to start off we have three kinds of notifications the first one is sound alerts and you can see the button for that where when you get a new signal for live options flow, for trade flow, for bullseye and eventually for a lot more other tools we have, uh, a lot more other tools we have on here. Whenever you get a new signal, you should get a sound that sort of tells you about the uh, about the details of that signal. So for instance, if you get a large sweep, the, there should be a sound alert that tells us that there was just a large sweep. Let's say this one, three, uh, 350k, there was just a large put sweep at ask with this, with this many premiums, this strike and this expiration date. So that's what the sound alerts do and uh, th these alerts work even if you're not on this tab as long as you have this uh, tool opened you are good to go then very similar to that is these uh, browser notifications which are actually small snippets that pop out uh, that, that pop up on the right corner of the website and again as long as you have this tool opened and you are on any other page or any other browser as long as you have this tool open and these uh, browser notifications enabled you will sort of get a pop-up on the right uh, side that tells you uh, th there was just a big order let's say there was the sort of uh, large options flow order these were the details and then you can actually go to the tool and uh, look at the details of that contract so those are the two uh, notifications types on the website then for the third we have mobile notifications where you can set different settings for the notifications that you want to receive uh, and you do that on, on our mobile app and i'll uh, show you how to do that <coughs> And then after that, you will get notifications directly to your mobile as push notifications. So for each of these tools, uh, uh, we will start with the website. For each of these tools, uh, by default, we have notifications for three tools, uh, Live Options Flow, Trade Flow, and Bullseye. Eventually, maybe by the time you're seeing this video, we'll have a notification for all of our tools. So you can do a lot more stuff than what you can do right now, but we're just starting off with this whole system of notifications. So right now, uh, for each tool, we have a set of thresholds that need uh, to get passed before we notify you of some important activity. So we are starting with live options flow. For live options flow, we only notify you if they, if the, the flow that's, that's coming in is a sweep or a split. It is being filled at ask, which means it, it is uh, potentially a buy order and the premiums are above 100k. So that's the default setting that's applied to all notifications on the web for live options flow. And if any any order that has that that is not a sweep or has premiums less than 100k there is no way to get notified uh, for that and we do that because if you if you start sort of sending notifications for smaller orders there's just too much data to send and that can clog up our servers as well and so that that's sort of the, the that's the main thing to know about uh, notifications because once you uh, enable them they work pretty smooth uh, uh, they work pre pretty smoothly but many people have questions on why am i not being notified notified of a particular order so please know that for live options flow the the default setting is sweeps or splits above 100k in premiums and they are being filled at ask but if you actually want to add on top of that then that's obviously possible so what you do is that's the default filter if you want to add more filters than that so, so let's say you want to only get notified of sound alerts that are sweeps at ask actually above ask because now you're going to let's say select this filter and uh, the premiums are above 100k that's the filter you select and now you will only get sound alerts for uh, flow where this filter is met as well and so you can also use uh, other filters such as non-spreads opening orders and stuff like that I'll just clear these out. Some some people only want to know about the very big orders, which would be this $1 million filter. So this would only uh, tell you about sweeps above $1 million. And those are also called golden sweeps. Now that we have talked about notifications, let's actually see them in action. So what I'm going to uh, do is go ahead and enable both of these notifications so that we can actually see how they're coming in. 
So now we just wait and see when we receive a sweep, a put or a call sweep with premium. So you see this, this is at bid. Although the premiums are above 100K, it is at bid, which means it could potentially be a sold After position. call split, bought for strike 300 and total premiums 259,350. So you, you, you see, we just uh, sort of got a sound alert. TSLA put sweep, bought for strike again. 1120. In total premiums 221,502. Goog call sweep bought for strike 2,970. In total premiums 127,366. I just had to turn, uh, turn them off. So you see, we, we got the sound notification and then you also saw the pop up uh, on the top right. So that's how you receive notifications uh, uh, on web. I hope this was useful. Let's actually go to say, some of our other tools and uh, sort of talk about what threshold, what default thresholds we have there. So for Tradeflow, we have the same settings. You can see these two buttons and I'll just turn this off. And for Tradeflow, the only thing you need to know is that the default filter is 10 plus orders. So any uh, signal that has less than 10 orders, there is no way to get notified of that. Again, we think that uh, filter uh, signals with less than 10 orders are not that uh, sort of good compared to the ones that have uh, sort of 10 plus orders because the 10 plus orders filter has an accuracy rate of about 80%. So we only want to send you information or notify you of information that's the most important and that has a very high accuracy rate. So again, other than that, we have the, these buttons. If you have a, a filter selected on top, then that filter will be respected as well. And then finally, we have bullseye. And for bullseye, the default uh, threshold is just 60% plus confidence. So again, if you have the filter selected, those will be respected as well. But the default will filter will be, you only get signals where the confidence score here is above 60%. So that was a very quick introduction to uh, our web notifications for both sound alerts and uh, browser notifications. We don't have sound alerts for mobile. We, we just have put, put not, uh, push notifications for uh, for that. And I'll talk about those uh, in a minute. But other than that, we also have uh, sort of a lot of other tools. And again, by the time, hopefully you are watching this video, uh, we, we have started to implement these notifications in a lot of our other tools as well. So for instance, uh, with price trigger alerts, uh, when you set an alert and when the price hits the target, you actually get both a sound alert and a uh, web, web no website notification as long as you have these enabled. So the sound alert is enabled by default. Uh, once your price trigger get, gets hit, you always get a sound alert. But if you have any of these uh, browser notifications enabled for any tool, then you also get a browser notification as well. And then we are eventually going to add uh, more notifications for dark pool data and for some other stuff as well. So that was a very quick introduction. And the, the most important thing is to know why a signal is not sort of being notified. You should know the default filters that we have uh, here. Now let's go to the mobile one. So I've recorded this video already, so I'll just open it and play it because this is how you set uh, fil uh, you set notifications on, mo on mobile. So you download our app and you, you log in. As long as you are a premium member, you can do it. You log in, you go to explore trade, you go to profile, you go to notifications, and then you have all these notifications for different tools. When you click on turn on uh, on any notification, you'll actually be able to set the exact filters that you want these notifications to follow. And once you do that, you will be, uh, and once you do that, the notifications will be set. And when there is any new signal that comes in following the filters that you have selected, you will get a direct push notification directly to your mobile. Uh, so that's, that's pretty cool. Now, that's it about mobile notifications. They are very easy to set up. You have the filters that you want to uh, use. You just select them, you add them, and that's it. Uh, so now that's it about the website and mobile notifications. I just wanted to do a very quick video and talk about the default uh, thresholds on mobile, I believe, for sweeps. The minimum threshold is 250k. Again, we have to send out these notifications to thousands of mobile devices, so we can't send every sweep. So for dark pool, I believe the minimum value is 10 million dollars. Anything less than 10 million dollars will never be sent. For bullseye, I believe the confidence is 60%. For trade flow, again, it's 10 plus order. Then for sweeps, instead of 100k as on the web, we actually I believe have 250k. And then actually you can set the days till expiration on mobile as well. So again, that was a very basic intro to how our notifications work and what kinds of uh, notifications do we have. We'll keep adding on top of these. So this video might get uh, a little bit dated, maybe in two or three months, but this should sort of set you up to get all the important information you need, even if you are uh, in your office, if you're not uh, in front of our tools or anything like that. One thing that I want to mention here is for mobile. 
uh, as long uh, for, for mobile you only get notifications for data that is there in your uh, watch lists so let's say you want to get notifications for sweeps you will only get notifications for sweeps that are uh, where the symbol is present in your watch list now obviously some people are going to say that we we, we want notifications for everything so obviously the, the website is there for that uh, and on, on the website you can select a watch list watch list list as well but on mobile uh, in order to alleviate your sort of uh, suggestion where you want all kinds of notifications no matter whether the stock is present in your watch list or not what we have done is we the the, the top signals let's say the 25 plus trade flow signal the, the very high confidence bulls are signals the very large sweeps 1 million dollar plus sweeps those are the signals that we send to every device so we, we don't take a look at your watch list for them but for anything else for smaller signals or for smaller sort of for uh, smaller information or for smaller orders we actually do uh, take a look at your uh, watch list and only send you data that's where the stock is present in your watch list as well now that's it uh, just one more thing if you ever find that your notifications for mobile are not working just try to turn them off and on again sometimes the tokens or the device ids that we are using change and that sort of turns these notifications off as well other than that they're again pretty easy to set up and they'll just work they'll just work right away so that was it about uh, how our notifications work. I hope you find this video useful. I believe this is uh, one of the differentiating factor of our product. No other product out there has this level of granular notifications on web, on uh, sort of on, on the side of sound, then on desktop and then on mobile as well. We, I believe, are the only one that, that that's trying to cover all these bases so that we can, in a very timely fashion, convey all this important information to you. With that, I'll end this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope this is useful to you.